What's up, y'all? It's your girl Tan. I'm back with another video. So this is my recap of Nay's recap of Toya and Rachel Nate episode two. So let's get into it. She talks about if she cried, how she felt seeing herself cry, certain scenes, you know, her growth. So let's get into it. We got to start off. Danae, I'm basically going in order her questions. I feel like it's just easy, okay? Danae cried again watching herself back. She said no because, you know, she said that's how of her life, though. Like, she felt for herself because she said that was the time when she was overwhelmed. She was filming by extent. And, you know, she was also putting out content for us in that same, you know, frame. And also she was recording for her show. So she said, you know, it's just a lot of cameras, just a lot of, like, boom, 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 flash, flash, flash. You know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, she was overwhelmed. But on another note, she's in a different space now, and only God got her in that space. So shout out God. Um, always. Somebody asked, it was two questions about that emergency box. Somebody said, Do you always carry your emergency box? And the other person said, Can I get some emergency? And I'm like, period. But yeah, Nay said no, she don't always do it. I feel like if you go into the jewelry store, what you gonna do though? Have that emergency with you. You feel me? Like it's just a necessary thing. You might as well. If you going jewelry shopping jewelry shop yeah for sure um another question was have you had any communications or altercations with male since then Nay's response basically was um praying to wish her the best but no i have not had any you know contact since then it's really giving she gave male her energy once and she really isn't about to do it again you know what i'm saying that's a person you give it to, you know you get them your energy once and you're like all right that's it like you've taken up enough of my time you know you got me on my character once you ain't doing it again that's what that whole situation gave to be honest and i can feel that also, we get to see that play out today, so go tune in to WETV tonight at 9. Does Nay regret her tweets was another question my girl said. You know, she lives life with no regrets. But me, for me as myself, I say live life with no regrets, but lessons learned and things you try not to repeat. That's me. I think a lot of us now, like I said, how are we supposed to live life with regrets? You know what I'm saying? Of course, it's things that you look back on and be like, dang, like you reflect, but regrets? Nah, man. I don't, yeah, I'm like, man, I don't live life with no regrets. But basically, she said everybody, you know, in terms of her tweets and, you know, just what she said, everybody isn't going to understand you or where you're coming from in that point of time. Also, you know, like she said, just keep it to yourself. Just pray to God, because at least then, you know, he going to keep it safe for you. You know, he got your back. You know, he going to be like, I got you. Like, let me have it. You feel me? Anybody else, though? Yeah, they go judge. That's just what they do. Only God can judge, though. That, but they go judge. you. Like, dang, that's crazy. And then just like my sis grow, like she real life just like show. You know how some people like, yeah, I've grown, guys. Like I've grown. Like I've really grown from this. You can just tell in her actions just how she moving, you know, how like things I've seen. I'm like, oh, yeah, she definitely moving different. It's definitely giving like, you know, she's like she said, she's always had a close relationship to God. But then a, like a switch eventually like turns on and all of us. It's like, hold up. I need to like get deeper locked in with God. You know what I'm saying? I really need to do some more things and do things differently. So she says she's found a new church. You know, she's been getting the word from the Lord with a T. So I'm like, that's good to see. That's good to hear. Like, love that for her. So my girl really is in a good place. And like, I'm proud of her for that. Like, she deserves that. How she felt about her mind in red bonding on screen. She said red literally gives good advice to anyone. He seems like that type though. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, cause he takes everything in, but I feel like it's time. If you ask him for advice, he gonna know what to say and be like, look, from any standpoint, I feel like he's grown enough to be like, look, this, you know what I'm saying? But also, like, watching that scene back, it's really dope to see two men just come together and be able to be like, you know, this is what it is. Like, it ain't going to be easy. You know, talk it out. Because sometimes we need it. Like, sometimes you need that person that's like, yo, I just need some advice. Like, some real advice. You know, one man to another man. That's really what it gave. So, boom, that's that. This question is the question, like, the million-dollar question. But basically, it was if Mel had spoke, would it still have been a problem? And they, no. They said, I'm not sure why Mel even came. Like, she was like, I don't know why she was there. Like, but then it made sense because she was like, you know, conversations before just gave, like, they was moving out, like, they was done. So it was basically, like, one of those things, like, why are we trying to make amends? I guess maybe not a family dinner. Like, I understand BD's. Like I said, I understand everyone's point of view, you know. But I guess Nay's like, look, if you're trying to, like, make amends or, like, squash beef, Probably not the place because ended up spilling over. Like I said, though, nobody's at fault. It's just like a learning lesson. Maybe not the right environment next time. You feel me? But yeah, when it comes to Mel, Nate's answer just gives that's like, you know, what I said, what I did. I'm sticking to it. That's the end of it. Like, you know, I'm not changing up. It's the same. I like that, though. Uh, another question. Does Lolo give good advice? And they say, yeah, her bestie give good advice because. You can just tell. Truthfully, you can tell. But she said, Lolo is one that doesn't judge you. She going to let you know when you're wrong. We've seen that before. But yeah, we've seen that on the show when Lolo's like, yeah, I told you not to tweet. You know, I told you not to do that. 
So she just said like, yeah, Lolo gives good advice. She's up, she's there to uplift you. So it's just giving like great qualities of a best friend. So I love it. Lolo in Nay's corner. Love that for Nene. Love that for Lolo. For real. Because, you know, they said it works both ways when it comes to advice. And I'm like, period. Back to the male situation, y'all. It was like at the end, though. Nay's like, yeah, you know, for real. Bye bye. I'm like, you know what? Nay be a mood. Like, I know my girl. Like, she be funny, but without even trying. Like, she don't got to do too much. Like, it just flow with her. I'm like, Nay, not the bye bye. On to the next one. Um, This question was In what ways have you grown since this episode? You know, she says she's trying to stay off the internet. She's still growing. All she said was the truth. That's all I'm going to say. Go actually listen to what she said because she said it best. And it ain't going to sound right coming from me. Like, I'm going to be so honest. If I was to, like, repeat everything, I'd be like, then it gives y'all no point to go watch the video. So if y'all really want to, like, go listen to what she said in terms of her growing, go tune in because she said it best. And, yeah, like my baby girl said, keep that strong relationship with God. You know what I'm saying? That should be your main relationship. That should be the relationship that you just focused on and locked in on. But let's go, let's go, let's go. It's the breakup just for TV. I will admit, like Nay said, that question has just been swirling around like a tornado. It just won't stop swirling. Though. Like, it's just... I'm like, yo, chill out. Y'all chirping. Stop. So many birds. But, um, like Nay said, it wasn't for TV. She said, like, y'all will be able to tell if I was faking. Like, this is 100. And, yeah. Honestly, I feel like anyone that feels that way right now is just, like, bitter. I'm sorry, like... Oh man, they broke up and I'm hurt. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to like throw it back in their face and be like, y'all played us. And, and, and it really won't on full TV. So I just feel like that's what's going on right now. Now you got to get them a little bit of time to get out of their feelings and, <laughs> and move on. But yeah, I truly feel they was always like, they love story. They love the friendship building. It was always authentic. It was real. So that's why I effed with them. So that's why a whole bunch of us effed with them so heavy because it was real and authentic. It didn't give force rushed all that stuff it just didn't give so i'm gonna be honest and it was i can't remember what part but like nay said our relationships have ups and downs just because we saw all the ups that didn't that does not mean they have didn't have they downs but yeah that's that you know what i'm saying like friendships relationships even she said with my mama we gonna have our down days that not everything is like on social media for y'all to see and that's where i think people get confused but let's uh, on to the next one. Oh, will we see her movie on the show bro and they said no because y'all know the, you know she stands with the people for the writer strike the actor strike the hollywood strike and i feel that but she said it's coming out soon and you know she would still love for us to tune into her project and see what she she created so I feel that heavy. Like, y'all, this strike, I'm going to be so honest. It is hurting me to the core because I just can't forget about it. Like, every day I look and I'm like, dang, my shows will be showing trailers right now of what to expect, you know? Instead, these writers and these actors and actresses are just trying to get paid and people don't understand it. Like, right now, you know, y'all got sports on. But at the same time, what's going to entertain us when these sports are off? Huh? And for the people that don't watch sports and we just want our shows back, dang, work with us, bro. Like, dang, man. I really do feel for them though. I really do. But yeah, y'all still go, you know, support boxing too when it come out. Like that's some real stuff. Um, this one was like, I think the last question, this ended it off. Are Jade and her still friends? I'm gonna be honest, y'all should have known that because like even like they said they family. I remember even yo, it was a video like earlier on in their YouTube days. But okay, it was a video that her and Jay did, and she was like, We've had falling outs, like, you know, big falling outs, but at the end of the day, that's my family, you know what I'm saying? So it's like with y'all family, y'all have your updates, y'all got y'all down months. Shoot, but at the end of the day, like y'all still saw her supporting. She was at the screening. She it was she reposting they stuff. So it's like just cause like y'all don't see them hanging out, you know, don't mean that things are like boom. But you know, from that they said, um She wants us to mind our business. Like respectfully, mind your business. But uh yeah, she said, you know, you can't let everybody in your life completely. You just can't do that. So that's why y'all probably like, oh, what's going on with Jay? Because she don't let us in on everything. She's not gonna tell us everything. That's understandable though. Cause like if she could really tell them people on Facebook that they'd be writing a whole book about their life. I'm like, y'all don't do this to y'all selves. I know y'all fingers hurt. But yeah, so that 